and then shift forward so your shoulders are over your wrist, pull your knee to your chest, and then you're going to externally rotate your right leg so the outer edge of your foot is resting on the floor, sole of your foot towards the left wall. And you're going to start to settle your right hip down, most of you on a bolster, okay? You can use a blanket, you can even use a block. Okay, people have asked, do we wanna have the front leg at 90 degrees? Maybe, perhaps, listen to your body, it's not necessary. What I would like is that front foot to be flexed. How's this feel in your body? Kind of tight? It's all right. Yeah. Feels tight. Okay. You can see here that his pelvis is sort of tilting to the right. So what that means, if it feels a little tightness, simply prop this right hip up a little bit more. So I'm going to have you lift this hip, and then you're going to put this up. There you go. How's that feel? Better? Okay, everybody, pull your right waist, your right hip back just like we did a moment ago. Do you feel that? So you're decompressing lower back. It sounds minor, but it actually makes a big difference. Spread the toes of your back foot on the ground, all to top, yeah, top of your foot, and then roll the inner thigh of your back leg to the sky. That will just help to keep your pelvis in neutral. Take a deep inhale, and then exhale, hinge forward and fold for a few breaths. Good. Now you can hold this for as long as feels good for you. Focus on your breathing. Inhale, come halfway up. You're going to go ahead and bring your hands shoulder width apart on the floor. Curl your back toes under and then lift back to downward facing dog. <laughs> 